Hey, Sparkle Stormy, or Dumont Lawrence, it's me, Sparkle and Sister, coming to a video in this video. I am doing four Rise of the Shield Hero characters. If they were heroes and a villain in Marvel, the MCU. So, without further ado, let's roll intro and let's get into this video, and let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Hey, Al, could you bring up all of the information we have on the heroes um, that just recently showed up at once, Mr. Spark? Okay. I have found four heroes of, and three heroes, and four, one villain of interest. Who are they? First one is the hero known as Barry, the girl named Nafumi Iwatane. Huh, Japanese, interesting. Yes, that is true. Um, so what is his powers? Powers include an invincible shield, invulnerability, immunity to alcohol, poison, and pretty much any other thing you could think of. And it's an utter pain in the arsehole from a document I found to actually injure him. You can shoot him with a bullet that might injure him, but he has a very fast healing factor as well. So this guy, in other words, is a giant tank. Yes, it is, sir. Okay, um... Um, where is he from? Japan, but according to this, his powers are magic-based. But he was also born with some. Like what? Um, according to this, it was, he was born with a few m mutant genes that pretty much allow him to control, weirdly enough, can be able to tell a, um, ingredients from one another. Pretty much you can give him food and he can try a bit of it and try a bit of it and tell you if it, what the ingredients he used were. So, pretty much they're wrapped from Ratatouille. Yes, it is, Mr. Spark. Interesting. Um, but what about making medicines? Actually, that is what he mostly does. He mostly makes medicines to help with his team. He was, at first, nice, then cold, and now he's more of a neutral. But some sources I have looked into say that he has actually ascended into that of a god. His powers are greater than Thor's. Whoa, my dad never said anything about really didn't say much about Thor. I'm gonna have to talk to Thor later about this guy. Okay, um, anything else? Any, any other information? Yes, he is married, and he does have a kid. Okay, now that's a little helpful. Can you move on? To, can you tell me anything about his wife? Okay, now that's all I got for the um the actual story, but the information and yes it is a new universe. But I just wanted to say that I really, really like the design of this one. And the um drawing is pretty much um those little splashes are pretty much Nafumi just shielding himself from something. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? So what he tells about his her his wife, her name is Raftalia. She is actually a sorcerer. Now that's interesting. We barely even heard hear anything from the sorcerers nowadays. Can you bring a picture of her? Sure, Miss. Sure, sir. Wow, she's interest. She looks interesting. Um, anything you can tell me about her? Like, are those are her? What happened to her ears, and why are the raccoon ears? Why is her tail? Is she a mutant? No, sir. Those are caused from magic. A mutation from magic? Never heard of that. Doctor Strange has filled out a report a few months ago. When, well, a few years ago when she was first born. She started to learn magic underneath him. Her parents were sorcerers, but they were killed from a two-headed dog that was under Damaru's control. Ah, oh, hey, Karamba, is Doctor ever going to feed Dormammu? 
He will in the future, sir. Yeah, you say that all the time, Al. But anything, anything else about her? Yes, she has the ability to... Well, wait, can you actually tell me how she got her raccoon mutations? Sure, sir. Her raccoon mutations, like stated, were caused by a magic. The magic was an experiment that was conducted by her under Strange. Strange allowed her to create a spell. The spell was to enhance people's abilities, but not just enhance them, actually give them parts of an animal. Her favorite animal was the trash, trash animal thief. That's what I found, known as a raccoon, for some reason. But due to, but the magic was a little unstable, and it caused, well, quite literally, blew up in her face, causing her to get mutations that of a raccoon. She also can use her magic to create a sword, which is her more prominent spell, and that's actually the first ever spell she was six, she was able to successfully make, and she has dubbed it the Sword of Magic. Funny enough, it can actually stab right through someone, and without leaving really any injuries. Okay, um, question. Do they, by any chance, have a daughter? Yes, they do, sir. Okay, now that's everything for, um, Raftalia's design. Raftalia, well, Raftalia's information. Raftalia's design, though, came out pretty well. Actually, my favorite out of the bunch. But, um, the, the one downside I don't really like is her finger. I should have made it more circular, to be honest. But the one thing I really like besides the cape and the pose and all that, I know that I do the pose a lot, but hey, it's a really simple pose, it's really helpful as well, is the magic symbol I made. I just really made that one on the fly and it turned out really well. So let's move on to the next one. Can I have the name of their daughter? Their daughter's name is Philo, but her hero name is actually... Feline. Feline, Feline, I've heard that name. Wait, did you say her name? How freaking old is she? She is actually only around 10. And she's a hero? Yes, it is. Man, that's young. Sir, um, Peter Parker, K Spider Man, was a hero when he was 16 or so. Fair enough. So, any information on her? Well, other than her abilities of shapeshift, um, she also has the ability con to control wind. Now, that's a quite interesting ability. Can you tell me about her shapeshifting abilities? Well, she more or less has one prominent form. Her ability to turn to something you call the Filial Queen. Filial Queen? Aren't those some of the magical creatures summoned... By, um, sorcerers at times. Yes, although you can sometimes find their eggs in black markets in our world. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing now Fumi bought one of these uh, black market eggs? Yes, yes he did. Okay, now that's a little interesting. That will explain her magic, but can you tell me what would happen if... Well, what is she exactly? Like I said, she is a filial, but she's a filial queen, to be more accurate. Filial queen, what's the difference? A filial queen is, how do you say, the queen, well, a queen of filials, but she was the apprentice of the queen of all filials for a time. And due to a test, she is now the next in line to become the next filial queen. Or the queen of all filials. Okay, now that's a lot of process. That would explain why she's so powerful. Any other abilities? Um, not really an ability, but more or less a, a thing, fact about her. She has an enormous appetite. How big of an appetite are we talking? She has one time, how do you say, eaten an entire bar out of food. 
Whoa. Okay. Uh, what about her mother? Um, her father and her mother, she her names for the record were Barrier and for her father and Sorcerer Raccoon for Raftalia, her mother. I am not really surprised. <sighs> okay. Anything else? No, sir. Okay, now, what about, um, the last one? The villain, sir. Yeah, that one. Um, can you tell me about him? Sure, sir. Name, Holy Heretic. Oh, that's the most ironic name I've ever found. He's actually a subpart of Hydra, sir. Oh, frick, we're still dealing with Hydra. I thought Captain all of them took care of that long ago. They took care of most of it, sir. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Holy Heretic. Leader of a church. No surprise there. But he it's actually a front for a cult. Mm. What is the church exactly known as? The Church of the Bow, Sword, and Spear Hero. They idolize these heroes as gods. Uh-huh. They believe that the shield hero is a demon. Is evil and can... Uh, and nothing can come from good of him. Uh, well, that is... Uh, that does make sense. So, can you tell me about the leader? The Pope? His name is... Balamus. Balamus. My Balars. The guy at status? He's dead, sir. Wow. So, Hydra's done with? No, sir, sadly. Okay, how did he die? Well, now, Fumi, how do you say, has the ability of the Sin sh Series Shield. Okay, no. what is that exactly? It's a magic ability, sir. He was given these powers by the Sorcerer Supreme, but they were hacked into by Dormammu. They didn't know about the Sin Series, and Mephesto allowed Dormammu to weigh in. Okay, now this is not going to end well, is it? Can you tell me about what happened? Well, Mephisto, like I said, allowed Dormammu to weigh in. And Dormammu, well, saw how angry Nafumi was about being falsely accused. Falsely accused? What do you mean? I mean, he was falsely accused of raping a princess. Hey, yeah, I'm looking at his file now. It says that. He was actually falsely accused of that. Huh. I'm guessing the princess was a bench. Yes, sir. How'd you know? Because it says right here in his file, renamed Princess Malty Malumark. Not to confuse her with her sister, Malty Malumark. She renamed her Bench. That's her real name now. Anything else about him? Well, he had the ability to summon a weapon that could... Transform into any of the three hero, three weapons I talked about. So I could turn into these spear, bow, and sword, correct? Yes, it does, sir. So it's a coincidence, really, that he was killed by the one thing he despised. That's not a coincidence, that's more ironic, sir. So what happened? Well, now if we use one of the Rage Shield abilities... Which was a dragon, and it ate him. Well, more or less just really, really bloodied the guy. And he died due to his injuries. Okay. That's all? Yes, sir. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, because I'm afraid that's all the time I got for today. Until next time, subscribe to the join the Spikers on me, or Demos Alliance. Goodbye, and peace out, everyone.